This is a quick guide to fitting a two-wheel drive low switch to a Suzuki Jimny. Uh, it works on, as far as I'm aware, it'll work on models from right the earliest ones, which I think is 98, through till through to the ones of the VVT um, engine. Uh, it probably will work on the VVT models too, but I don't know which specific wires you need to cut to make it work. But um, this is my guide to doing it on the earlier Jimneys. First thing we need to do is remove this plastic trim from around the handbrake, which we'll be placing the switch, which I've got here, a little rocker switch. I've already put some tails on it and some connectors. We'll be placing that here. Um, it doesn't really matter where you place it, but I find this is the most convenient place because you tend to be using it similar time to using the range, uh, high and low range, and it's an easy place to find it. So we'll remove that piece of trim, and that will also enable us to access the wiring below. And to do that, we are just undoing two screws. There's one here, there's one on the other side, uh, and then that piece all lifts out. So with the screws removed, simply slide this back, Lift it up, and flick it over the handbrake to reveal more crap. So with the trim removed, and uh, I've just cut through the carpet from the front and back here to give us more space, um, you'll find the main wiring loom, which I incorrectly cut into because I hadn't read my own instructions. Um, and coming off that is this smaller wiring loom which goes through this grommet which has popped out and through the floor down to the transfer case. Uh, so this is the bit we're looking for and we've got to cut into that as I've done and we're looking for the thick blue and black cable with red dots on it. Now it's a bit dark so you can't really see but it's a blue cable, it has a black stripe on it and it has red dots uh, every so often along it. Uh, we are simply going to cut that wire and then we will add connectors on. So I've already prepared my switch with a, a male and a female spade terminal. Um, there's no polarity to worry about but I will cut this wire uh, and add a male and a female spade terminal and that will also mean that if we do get something wrong or we want to take the switch off we will be able to connect this up again easily. Um, yeah, so we'll do that, and that's the next step. Okay, so I'm um, just showing you what we've done here. So we've cut that wire, crimped connectors on to either end, uh, and then they go along the red wires to our switch. We've mounted the switch. Let's get this back together. Ooh, losing light here. switch is in the front of the trim panel there, uh, so now we've just got to test it. So, start the car. So now it's in four wheel drive, flip that forwards comes out four wheel drive, back in four wheel drive. And now if we press this switch, Four-wheel drive goes off. Press the switch on again. Four-wheel drive comes on. So it works in high and low, um, but obviously we already get the option of two-wheel drive high. So it's primary use. It's when you're in low range uh, and you want to switch from four-wheel drive into two-wheel drive. So once you've got it tested, uh, you just screw that panel back on, and you're all done.